So today's video comes from Basic Truth, who commented on my recent video about normalization, and they asked, how can you return the pitch to normal after this operation? So I decided to make a video here today about how to go back one step after you've applied an effect in Audacity, as well as how to set up an environment that basically promotes good production and also testing environments so you don't have to really worry about whether or not, oh, I applied this effect, this could be bad for my track down the line. So let's get into it. How to remove an effect after you've already applied it in Audacity. So I'll go ahead and create a little test audio track here. Testing, 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 stop. Okay, so I have my little short track here that I'm going to be applying an effect to and then removing it. So first, click Control A, select the entire track here, and I'll just do a simple echo. Okay, and now I have my effect here, and I'll play it. Testing, testing, testing. testing. You can hear the echo effect there as well. And now I'll go ahead and do a select on edit and then control Z or just select undo echo to remove the effect I've just applied. Now something else that you can do um, to pretty much ignore this whole scenario that we're in right now. I'll go ahead and remove the echo currently. What we can do is we can actually duplicate this track and then have one be our production track and one be our testing track. So if I go control A, select all, and then click on edit, and then duplicate, now I have two versions of the same track. And what I can do is if I come down here to this one, select it all, go to effect, do echo again. Now I will have one version of the track that's normal and one version of the track that has the echo. So if I play either one and I decide, oh, I like the echo one, I'll continue with that one, then I can delete the regular one. So that's kind of just a little sample version of what production slash testing environments are. Very generic, very basic. But that's just probably the best practice that you want to go forward when you're de deciding whether or not or concerned about whether or not when you add an effect, if there's going to be an issue down the road. So that is how you add and remove effects as well as a little bit about production slash testing environments.